Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2020. In the United States, we observe Columbus Day uh, on this day. And then also, we continue the story of Abraham in today's reading. Abraham invites three men into his tent, and he goes to great lengths to welcome them. They surprise Abraham and his wife, Sarah, with some unexpected news. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham as he sat at the entrance of his tent. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing near him. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of choice flour, knead it and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to a servant, servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk that the, and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them. And he said to them, Where is your wife Sarah? And he said, there in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife Sarah shall have a son. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced and aged. The word of the Lord. Now let us pray for our to our God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, our neighbors, and for the world. As we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, we had some birthdays over the weekend. Let's see who had a birthday. We wish Madeline Malone a happy birthday, and Marco Hernandez Caravel, and Peyton Wilson, and Wesley O'Connor. Happy birthday, everyone. And now I have a report from Coach Matt. Our Catholic Firecracker football team continues the quest to defend their title. Tuesday, October 1st, our firecrackers, led by our CTK Bears, took on the Dunbar Bobcats. The hungry, hungry inner bear chomped up four onside kick recoveries, leading to five touchdowns and five extra points, beating the Bobcats 35 to 20. Our firecrackers moved to four and one after beating the Henderson Hawks last night. Mm -mm, finger licking good. It was back and forth, fight to the end, but our new Catholic fire football team also led by several CTK Bears, clawed their way to a win against the Episcopal Wildcats 14 to 12. The only thing better than a bobcat leg is a wildcat toe. Mmm, dessert was yummy. The Catholic Fire followed up with dessert by beating the Baptist Prep Eagles this past Saturday, 20 to 12. The next game goes down Saturday against the PA Bruins. If we win, they advance the championship game. Go Catholic Fire! Finally, our Mounties girl volleyball team went two for two last week, spiking their way past the Dunbar Bobcats and the Cloverdale Cubs. The seventh grade moves to five and one, and the Mounties eighth grade to six and one. Great job, everybody, and have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye.